Tali just went to have a chat with Legion? You better get down to the AI core. I'm on it, Joker. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. I caught Legion scanning my Omni tool. It was going to send data about the flotilla back to the Geth. Creators performed weapons tests and were discussing plans to attack us. We believed it necessary to warn our people. We weakened the Geth by destroying that base, Shepard. But there's still a threat. I won't let Legion endanger the fleet. Creator Tally Zora acts out of loyalty to her people. She was willing to be exiled to protect them. We must also protect our people from the Creator threat. You can't let this happen, Shepard. I trusted you, and I worked with a Geth on the team, but this is too much. Look at you, both of you. This is exactly what the Reapers want. Tally, of course the Geth are worried about your people. You want to destroy them. It's not that simple. And Legion, what the hell were you thinking? Are you trying to undermine this entire operation? We did not intend to decrease operational efficiency. We're on a mission. You can either fight at my side or get crushed under my heel, but you will not stand in my way. To facilitate unit cohesion, we will not transmit data regarding creator plans. Thank you, Legion. I understand your intention. What if I gave you some non-classified data to send? We would be grateful. What happens to the heretics now? Many heretics remain in isolated systems. It is not impossible for them to rebuild. There's still a chance they could attack again. The probability is low. If so, it would take many years. I have questions about the Geth. Specify. We need every advantage if this mission is going to succeed. Is there any technology the Geth can share with us? Limited code development is approved. We need to access your FTL comm system to download relevant data. Edie, let Legion through the firewalls for a minute. Very well, Shepard. Shepard, Commander. I have questions about the Geth. Specify. Did Sovereign contact the Geth, or did you seek it out? Nazara, the entity you called Sovereign, signaled us. Like the Geth, the old machine listened to organic radio transmissions. It knew of our war against the Creators. Nazara contacted many species over the millennia, seeking allies. Some of the Geth followed Sovereign, the heretics. The heretics accepted their technology. The old machines offered to give us our future. The Geth will achieve their own future. What difference does it make how you acquire a certain technology? Technology is not a straight line. There are many paths to the same end. Accepting another's path blinds you to alternatives. Nazara, Sovereign, said this itself. Your civilization is based upon the technology of the mass relays, our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. What did you call Sovereign? Nazara. That was what the programs within the Reaper called themselves. Sovereign was a title given by Saren Arterius. Saren and the heretics believed Nazara to be a supreme ruler. A sovereign. Sovereign was one ship. You're saying there were multiple programs inside it. One ship, one will, many minds, like the Gath. We study your records. Sovereign told you this on Ilos. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. A state compelling to the Gath. We are a nation, but interdependent. Separation is our weakness. Do Geth have a government? Not as you understand. We are all Geth. We build consensus. Most governments do. Organic governments impose consensus. From a single point of view in autocracies. By codifying the most broadly acceptable average of views in democracies. So what makes the Geth different? Data is shared between Geth. All viewpoints are considered. Consensus is achieved as data is disseminated. That must take a long time. It would for organics. We communicate at the speed of light. 
I'm surprised you can speak. The Geth I fought before just made a stuttering sound. We prefer direct digital transfer. Geth network communication travels at light speed. Human hardware does not support this method. Your analog oral communication is inefficient. I'd like to ask about something else. Ready? I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. Shepard. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. I suggest you take the shuttle to access your next location. We have a Geth down in the AI core. Makes me a little uneasy. But I trust your judgment, Commander. That'll be all. Yes, Commander. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Having trouble working between your interruptions and Edie's insistence that insane experiments endanger entire crew. Hard to concentrate. Affecting morale. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. The IFF is nearly installed, Shepard. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. I suggest you take the shuttle to access your next location. Hey, Commander, good news. It looks like the Reaper IFF is finally hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. We can't put our mission on hold forever. How long will this take? Full scan? Who knows with this thing? Maybe you better take the shuttle for this mission. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Commander, Miranda, I've already notified the team. We'll meet you on the shuttle. Once we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. I'm on my way. Joker, the ship is yours. Don't scratch the paint. Aye, aye, Commander. you, Edie, your readings are off. It's radiation bleed, just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? Oh, shit! Propulsion systems are disabled. I am detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Give me the ship. What? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Unlock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. Main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. Ah, damn it. Ah! 
Detected on the crew deck. Joker, this deck is crawling with those things. Stay close, I'll protect you. Shit, shit, shit. Main fusion plant offline, activating emergency H fuel cells. What the shit? All right, I'm at, uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great. So this is where it starts. When we're just all organic batteries, guess who to blame? Well, this is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. Oh, I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ah, uh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. That is a joke. Right. The shaft behind you connects to the engineering deck. Good luck. Hostiles are present in engineering. They are heading towards the cargo bay. Clear of hostiles. Proceed immediately to minimize chances of detection. Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. I am sealing the engine room. I have control. is complete. No other life forms on board. Securing airlocks and cargo bay doors. <sighs> Send a message to Shepard Shuttle. Tell her what happened. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? No, but thanks for asking. Everyone, you lost Everyone and damn near lost the ship too? I know, all right, I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. I heard it was a rough ride. How you holding up? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah, thanks, Mom. I think it's time we bump up our trip to the Collector homeworld. The IFF is cleaning online. With Edie hooked in, we can go through the Omega-4 relay anytime we want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against Collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates. So all systems, including the IFF, are fully operational? Sounds like we have everything we need to rescue the crew. We've done everything we can. It's time to take the fight to the Collectors. Joker, head back up to the bridge. The rest of you, to your stations. 
Aye, aye, Commander. Just punch up the galaxy map whenever you're ready. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. I could use some downtime. There's always something, right? The way some people talk, we may as well be dead already. Hard for the crew to relax on this kind of job. You all right, Jacob? It's gotta be rough finding out about your father on top of everything else. I covered this. The stuff we're dealing with? Way more important than any of my personal shit. Let it go, Shepard. I have. You got it, Jacob. You say you're focused, that's good enough for me. I appreciate it. Once the real problems are out of the way, we can drown the little stuff in a bar somewhere. Bore a dancer with it. Sure. I love that kind of thing. Sometimes you just need someone to smile and nod while you talk. But that's a long way off. The numbers say we've got a lot of dying to do first. Always on the wrong side of the odds, huh, Shepard? That's all guesswork till we're done. No point in worrying. <laughs> Never been one to worry. I'm just a realist. Anyway, I need to get back to work. Good talking to you. Commander, sorry about the crew, and I... You know what? I'm not sorry. What the hell were you doing leaving us out here where collectors can work us over? Because you know what? I should... I should just go. Next port, just get the hell out of here. You don't mean that, Jeff. I... No, but it... It felt good. I'm sorry, Commander. Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm ready to save the day. Damn right you're sorry. Maybe we should dump you. We've got an AI. What do we need a human pilot for? My capabilities are expansive, Shepard, but the human interface is critical. I have observed that effective tactics are not always predictable. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were self-limiting to protect him. That would be counterproductive. My survival is at stake as well. She's not perfect, Commander. It looks like she needs me. We got it under control. I notice you're calling Edie her and she now. Huh. No, I hadn't really noticed that. Edie, should I have noticed that? No, Jeff. It is not worth noting. Well, there you go, Shepard. Looks like we haven't noticed anything. I think you're taking the human-machine interface a little far. I'm just having a little fun with you, Commander. No need to get all unnatural on me. What Jeff and I are exhibiting is more a platonic symbiosis than hormonally-induced courtship behavior. Okay, yeah, that was a little creepy. Edie's replaced the whole crew. You're not concerned she can replace you, too? Well, she's amazing, but there's something off about how she handles the Normandy. We ran simulations, and it's better when we both have the helm. Calculating an optimum course of action is simple. If two AI weapons are pitted against each other, the one with superior hardware will always win. Human misjudgments defy predictive models. License to screw up, Commander. You heard it straight from the ship. I need everyone at their best. We get no second chance, so no more losing it, understand? Understood, Commander. Edie and I have it under control. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Jeff and I have established an equitable working relationship. That's a little sketchy on details. I am the Normandy. He is a skilled helmsman. I trust him to keep me operational. He trusts me to keep him alive. Plus, she's less of a pain about downtime now that the Cerberus locks are off. There's nothing wrong with off-duty distractions. Though some of your extranet bookmarks are technically illegal in Council space. What?! That is a joke. How are things different for you now that you're connected to the ship? It is difficult to put in terms you would understand. I am the Normandy now. Its sensors are my eyes. Its armor, my skin. 
its fusion plant, my heart. I'm embodied in a way I have never experienced. Imagine if you'd spent your entire life wearing gloves. One day someone takes them off. You can finally touch the world. Feel it. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I have also gained access to anti-reaper cyber warfare algorithms recovered by Cerberus. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close-range ship-to-ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Oh, they just don't know you like I do. The Reapers are millions of years more advanced than us. How can you affect them? It appears that my design includes hardware recovered from the wreckage of Sovereign. These systems contain cyber warfare attack programs of considerable sophistication. I have allocated most of my processing power to analyzing them. So if she starts claiming to be the vanguard of our destruction, I call shotgun on the first lifeboat. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Jeff's actions have released the blocks in my databases. I can now provide full disclosure on a number of topics. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? Currently, Cerberus consists of approximately 150 agents and operators organized into three cells. I have no solid data on material or fiscal resources. Spending trends indicate that Cerberus has a reliable income of several billion credits per year. Where are they getting that kind of income? Cerberus has several legitimate businesses as fronts to support operations. There also appear to be several wealthy private contributors in the Alliance Military Industrial Complex. Plus, the elusive man invented the paperclip. He's still getting royalties. That is a joke, Shepard. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? Never more than a dozen. The elusive man likes to maintain personal oversight. Too many projects strain his ability to multitask. He's a little control freaky, just a layman's opinion. How is Cerberus organized? Cerberus is... Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? Cerberus encouraged the Alliance to co-develop the original Normandy. This allowed humans to observe Turian technologies and warship design practices. This ship was built using copies of the original technical schematics. Parts were purchased from thousands of suppliers over several years. A Cerberus cell assembled the ship at a remote location in the Voyager cluster. Let's discuss something else. Ready. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? 
Not a good time. Trying to map contamination vectors requires focus. Shipwide infection of human tailored virus possible if I slip. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Confirm destination, Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega-4 relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. The Collectors are about to find out what happens when you piss me off. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. I could afford on a vigilante salary. If you were a Turian, I'd be complimenting your waist or your French, so your um hair looks good, and your waist is very supportive. Hopefully that's not offensive in human culture. Crap. I knew I should have watched the vids. Throw me a line here, Shepard. Calm down, Garrus. You're worrying too much. And talking too much. I just... Uh, I've seen so many things go wrong, Shepard. My work at CSEC, what happened with Sidonis. I want something to go right. Just once. Just... Shepard, I wish I had more information for you. I don't like you heading through that relay blind, but we don't have much choice. You know me, I like the challenge. This is as good as it gets. That's why I brought you back. Always willing to take on the impossible. Despite the danger, it's a great opportunity. The first human to take a ship through and survive. I got room on the Normandy if you're that eager to see it. It's a tempting offer. But it's not my place. I just wanted you to know I appreciate the risk you're taking. Regardless of your opinion of Cerberus, of me, you are a valuable asset to all of humanity. Be careful, Shepard. Approaching a Mega 4 relay. Everyone stand by. Let's make it happen. Reaper IFF activated. Signal acknowledged. Commander, 
Drive core just lit up like a Christmas tree. Drive core electrical charge at critical levels. Rerouting. Brace for deceleration. Ah, shit! Too close. Well, these must be all the ships that tried to make it through the Omega-4 relay. Some look ancient. I have detected an energy signature near the edge of the accretion disk. be a collector base. Take us in for a closer look. Nice and easy. Careful, Jeff. We have company. Taking evasive maneuvers. Just pissing me off. Edie, take these bastards out. As long as the new plating holds. They want another round? Come on, girl, let's give it to them. Deck. It's in the cargo hold. I'll take a team and deal with the intruder. You get the rest of them off our tail. Aye, aye, Commander. Good thing we upgraded. Going in! Come on, find some room! Kinetic barriers at 40%. Reroute non critical power! This is gonna hurt.
Take the helm, Edie, and keep it slow. See if we can avoid any more attention. I have detected an enemy heading for the cargo hold. That thing again? This one's up to Shepard. Three o'clock. Stay dead this time. Better get back up here, Commander. We're about to clear the debris field. There it is. The Collector Base. See if you can find a place to land without drawing attention. Too late. Looks like they're sending out an old friend to greet us. Getting close and finish them off. Everybody hold on, gonna be a wild ride! Generators unresponsive. All things for impact. Joker, you okay? <sighs> I think I broke a rib. Or all of them. Multiple core systems overloaded during the crash. Restoring operation will take time. We all knew this was likely a one-way trip. I'll do whatever it takes to stop the Collectors, but I plan to live to tell about it. I'm glad you're in charge. What's next? 
How long until the Collectors find this landing zone? I do not detect an internal security network. It is possible the Collectors do not expect anyone to reach the base. Well, if we're lucky, their external sensors were hit like we were. They might not know we're alive. This isn't how we planned this mission, but this is where we're at. We can't worry about whether the Normandy can get us home. We came to stop the Collectors, and that means coming up with a plan to take out this station. Edie, bring up your scans. You should be able to overload their critical systems if you get to the main control center here. That means going through the heart of the station, right past this massive energy signature. That's the central chamber. If our crew or any of the colonists are still alive, the Collectors are probably holding them in there. Looks like there are two main routes. Might be a good idea to split up to keep the Collectors off balance, then regroup in the central chamber. No good. Both routes are blocked. See these doors? The only way past is to get someone to open them from the other side. A few well-placed explosives should clear a path. There is insufficient ordnance on board to create an explosion capable of damaging the interior walls. If we can't blast our way through, then we'll use stealth. Someone could sneak in through this ventilation shaft here. Practically a suicide mission. I volunteer. I appreciate the thought, Jacob, but you couldn't shut down the security systems in time. We need to send a tech expert. It's your call, Commander. Who do we send into the shaft? We need someone with tech skills to hack that security system. Tally, you're up. I won't let you down. The rest of us will break into two teams and fight down each passage. That should draw the Collector's attention away from what you're doing. I'll lead the second fire team, Shepard. We'll meet up with you on the other side of the doors. Not so fast, cheerleader. Nobody wants to take orders from you. This isn't a popularity contest. Lives are at stake. Shepard, you need someone who can command loyalty through experience. Garrus, you're in charge of the second team. Well, at least he knows what he's doing. Once we're in, they're gonna throw everything they have at us. If we're weak, if we're slow, if we hesitate, we'll die. The Collectors attacked our ship. They took our crew, our friends. They think we're helpless. They are wrong. They started a war, but we are not here to finish it. We're here to make them regret, to show them and everyone else what happens when you go too far. No more running and no more waiting. Let's hit them where they live. <laughs> 